bowl is looking like 670 calories, 58 grams of protein, 89 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat. What is your profession? So we're gonna go into Kava and we're gonna like get a cool meal in, the post-workout meal. I can't tell if I'm starving or not, bro. I'm low-key starving, but I drank so much caffeine today. <laughs> I, I can't even tell. I like took a break off of caffeine for the entire week and like I felt like I was a little bit depressed. <laughs> Sometimes I drink too much caffeine and then tea just doesn't do it anymore. And then yeah. Gotta bring out the Oxy Shred. You never know exactly what serving sizes they give you or whatever, but like there's ways to approximate it. And obviously like the more you've been familiar counting your macros, you will know intuitively what you're eating and how much you're eating. For example, like four ounces of meat is probably about like a baby fist size, yeah. right? Depending on how big your baby is. <laughs> you got a big ass baby. Big like ass six baby. <laughs> you have a fucking Gorilla Brooks baby. About six That's like six half. ounces. <laughs> we'll just go into Kava and get whatever we want and then just talk about how it's going to fit our macros. See. But, yeah. Big Kava. Can I get a Super Greens mix? Yeah. So Super Greens mix is kale, Brussels sprouts, uh, chicken and dip, broccoli, green cabbage. Just a lot of good greens, a lot of good micronutrients. And then can I have a half a mix of half of brown rice and then half of... Oh, I'll do the saffron. Half the saffron. Yeah, that'd be great. So each one she did was about a scoop, which I think a scoop is probably like, like measurements based off of a cup of rice. I think a scoop is probably like 0.75 of a cup. Yeah, based off of their spoons. Can I get whatever doesn't have dairy? I'm lactose intolerant, so. Uh, like traditional hummus, uh, harissa, and some roasted eggplant. Like, can I get some red pepper, red pepper hummus as well? Oh, is it? Oh, it's okay. Can I get chicken? Yeah. Okay, I can give you double, like, more Can I get everything? Fire versus corn, tomato and cucumber. So normally I don't count veggies in like my macros or my diet, but uh, Did everything work? yeah. But to a certain extent, like if you're eating a lot of vegetables, like this is, then it's probably smart to count certain things like corn. Corn is actually higher in carbs than most vegetables. Uh, you can skip the olives. Can I have some? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And yeah. then I mean, can I have a little bit extra of the tomatoes? Pita crisps. Yeah! Topic? Yeah, can we get some? What doesn't have dairy? Lemon herb tahini, skug. I don't know what skug is. <laughs> skug? <laughs> sounds gnarly. It sounds sick. Skug. Garlic? <laughs> I got some water and I got some water from them and it started foaming hella and I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Those girls inside were not having it. No. <laughs> We came in with a camera. Sure. <laughs> no, they were, they were not having it, dude. They're not interested at all. I wanted to have someone talk about what ca what Kava has, like, because it's got a lot of like good, healthy stuff. They were just so shy. <laughs> they were just like. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So, what I normally like to do is I normally like to put my food in macros. I have a macro app that I use. It's called My Macros Plus. And this is where I log all my food for the day. So this is everything I had today so far. I only had like 750 calories. I actually had an isopep protein shake. Isopep from EHP Labs. It's um, isolate, it's way isolate. And it's just 27 grams of protein per scoop. So I just added that. So I had 880 calories today, 132 grams of protein, only 51 carbs, only, fi only 16 fat. Yeah, I, I haven't eaten very much today. But I also wake up late and it's... It's 6 p.m. so this is technically like half day for me. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go to sleep by like like one tonight or something like that. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Call it lunch. As long as I get my fucking nine hours, I guess, right? Yeah. I'm gonna put all the macros in a new sheet so it's easier for you guys to see. So essentially what I'll do for example is you guys saw the portion of chicken that they gave? They gave like two small scoops. Yeah which was like two very small baby fist sizes. I'd say like a baby fist. Two small baby fists. Yeah, like I'd say a, the size of your actual fist, 
probably would you say six ounces six to seven six ounces yeah, yeah. so like a baby fist say that like you just cut like three of your fingers and you just cut one size off I think those three fingers would be closer to like four ounces yeah and then um, each one of the scoops he gave if you like just kind of eyeball it measure it compared to a baby fist <laughs> looked about there's a baby right next yeah <laughs> it looked like about three ounces each i'd say so i think it ended up being about six to seven ounces of chicken that you did so if i eat this whole bowl which i'm probably not gonna eat the whole bowl tonight i had a lot of caffeine so i'm only gonna eat probably half of it but assuming that i ate the whole thing i would look for some sort of chicken breast that i felt like was accurate sometimes some restaurants have more fatty chicken breast it's not like the leaner side so I'd look for one that has a little bit higher fat content for example like sometimes I'd even just put in Chipotle like Chipotle has their macronutrients I don't know if Kava does if Kava does then that'd be if Kava does then that's super easy you can literally just look up Kava's website and add their macronutrients into your whatever I know it's a lot of extra work but I mean when you do it like when you input your macros for the first time you'll have that in there for like the rest of like your, your fucking life if you save it. So all you gotta do it is once, and then the next time you come to Kava, it's already in there, you just click on it, and you're like, oh, I ate this much. There, you're done. And like, that'll fucking change your life forever because then you'll start knowing exactly what you're putting into your body, and over time, accumulate that data like a scientist, you'll be able to see how what you're putting in, your input, is affecting your output, which is like your physical appearance, your health, your mental health, how you feel, everything, just like your entire life which is I think super important that's why diet is honestly key now, most restaurants do nowadays uh, they're pretty health conscious with that uh, at least just to have it on some platform they're, they're probably gonna have it there um, even if it's not on the menu right here you know there'll be a calorie count right there but to actually get the macros usually you just look up the website look up the nutrition facts and they should have on there uh, oh also Cooked meat macros are always different than raw macros. A lot of water is evaporated when you're cooking meat, and so the weight is reduced by about 25%. So considering that the weight of your raw meat has been reduced by 25%, now it's only weighing 75% of what it originally weighed. If you want to put that into your macros, an easy way that I recommend putting that into your macros is whatever the raw macros were of that food, say that it was like 25 grams of protein for four ounces and then like three grams of fat, multiply that by 1.33. And by multiplying that by 1.33, you will get the macros of what the cooked food will be. Same way. Right, yeah. yeah. So like say that it was like 24 grams of protein or something, the cooked macros are gonna end up being something like 29 or something like that. I don't know what 1.3 times that is, but that's basically, your macros are just gonna be a little bit higher for the cooked macros. Let's imagine that that was six ounces of meat maybe then that'd be about 156 grams. I inputted that, and there we go. That's 46 grams of protein, five grams of fat there, for like assuming it was that kind of chicken. I would probably assume that the chicken had a little higher fat, so I would choose some cooked chicken breast that had a little higher fat on there, but it's not too big of a deal. They added two scoops of rice, and I'd say it was about 0.75 cups. So if I ate the whole thing, that'd be like at least 1.5 cups of rice. So I'll go to rice, and then I'll just type in 1.5 cups, and then voila, and then that's another thing. And then I can just keep doing that for all the veggies and everything that I eat, and just estimate it. You don't have to be very particular, to be honest, I don't think it's really... If you're eating out, then, I mean... Just get a gist. You know? Yeah, it's, it's good yeah. to at least just get a gist of what you're eating. Exactly. Because that'll still help you in the long run. Yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, one to two grams is gonna make it or break it. But it's really just being able to get a chance of what you're consuming in your body. Um, that's definitely gonna make a big difference. If, if you're gonna eat out, just treat it as like a treat for yourself. I mean, obviously not too common, but if you do, it's, it's always good to have days like that. And then most of these veggies, I normally don't count. But if you want to be particular, you can just look up some kind of like like mixed veggies or something. And then about how much was in there, I'd say there was like at least a cup add that that's five grams of carbs sick and then i'll add the corn separately just because corn is a little higher in carbs than most vegetables and i think they probably added like it wasn't very much yeah right 
So this is going to be harder for most people to estimate. I'm, I'm pretty good at estimating things by how many grams of like actual macros they have, not just by the size. To me, it looked like there was only like a quarter cup of corn that they put in there. I would estimate that to be 5 to 10 grams of carbs max. So I'm just going to put 0.57 grams of carbs, add that, that's done. And then if I wanted to, I could also add these chips. There's not very many. They're not tortilla chips, but they look like they could be tortilla chips. And there was probably like half a serving of tortilla chips. So I'll just go to tortilla chips. And then I'll add half a serving of tortilla chips. And voila, that's added too. So, so far, without the sauces I added, the bowl is looking like 670 calories, 58 grams of protein, 89 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat. Now if you add the sauces, it's going to add a lot of fat, because we got a lot of sauces. I think Greek but, food is typically oily. So Greek food is pretty oily, like with the sauces, yeah. all that stuff. Um, just something to consider. I mean, the sauce, same thing with the salad. The salad isn't the calories, it's what the dressing is on top of it. Um, if you have a heavy ranch dressing, I mean, that's going to be like six times what the salad even is, calorie-wise. I mean, this isn't Greek, is it? Or Greek. is this like Medi Mediterranean. Mediterranean or something? Yeah. This one's a little... If you actually go to a Greek restaurant with gyros and shit, that shit is loaded in oil, bro. Oh, yeah. That shit's so fatty. Yeah. So good. <laughs> so so good, good, bro. So good. Tahini sauce is good. Kava is definitely leaner than... It's way leaner than your average, like, Greek restaurant with gyros and stuff like that and skewers. Which is good. That's why I added the sauces separately. But adding each sauce separately, I'd say each one of these containers is probably about an ounce. And then you could just look up those macros online, literally anywhere. Like tahini, an ounce of tahini, how much would that be? And if you decide that you want to eat the whole thing, you add that into your macros too. Those are pretty high though. Uh, that's why I recommend if you're like, say that you're like focusing on cutting and you're trying to eat leaner, then it's probably good to stray away from heavy sauces. Those are pretty dense in calories and pretty dense in fats. And fat is the one macronutrient that's nine calories per gram, whereas the other ones are only four calories per gram. So that'll make a big difference if you're pounding on the sauces. That's why people normally say like, if you're eating salads, you don't want to add a fuck ton of Caesar because that's going to completely skew the fact that you're eating a salad. And the purpose of most salads isn't for the micronutrients. A lot of people just eat salads with straight lettuce and stuff like that. That's simply more so for volume, uh, for satiation, for low calories plus volume and satiation. But you add, yeah, the dressing kind of ruins it <laughs> if you add too much of the dressing. Well, you know, if, if you look at like a big salad, I mean, you can get up to like 1,300 calories for like a decent yeah. size salad with, with toppings, with dressing. It's not the salad, it's the dressing. Topping is pretty negligible because usually it's a protein base, um, but yeah, it's always a dressing. You know, anything that's like dairy based is gonna be very high in calories because it's fat primarily, um, nine grams. Yeah, I agree with that. So I think the reason this bowl looks so big too is because we added a lot of that kale salad mix at the bottom and then a lot of the vegetables on top. So that's actually gonna be less calories than it looks. But say that you actually added a lot of the extra sauces that we added. Or say, for example, you ate like the tahini. Considering you ate a whole thing of tahini of this two tablespoon thing, this tiny little thing, two tablespoons, that shit is 16 grams of fat. Bro, 17 grams of fat. That's a lot in just one container. Say that you ate four tahinis. That's your full meal right there. That's 68 grams of fat, dude. That's. That's more than my fat macros for an entire day. My maintenance is actually pretty low because I like to maintain around like eight to nine percent body fat and I started off overweight. I think because of that, uh, I don't really know, I can't really explain to you the science of it, but essentially, if I wanna stay at a low percent body fat, somehow because of my origins, my maintenance calories are actually pretty dang low. Uh, a lot lower than most people would always expect. I eat approximately like 2,000 calories a day. I'm five, seven and a half, 170 pounds. And yeah, I eat about 2,000, 2,100 calories a day to stay like 8%, 9% body fat. If I wanted to eat like healthier and like get my thyroid back up to a better level, then I would probably be eating more calories. I feel like I'd maintain more around like 2,400. 
but like when the water weight comes, you know, I like to stay lean for like, you know, Instagram and for social media, for myself, to be honest. And so in doing so, that's why I choose to eat at like a lower calorie. Say that you ate one of those tahinis, then that whole meal already goes up to 863 calories and 26 grams of fat. And then say that you ate like two of the sauces or whatever, that would be 70 grams of protein, 97 carbs, 43, 44 grams of fat, and that's a whopping 1,050 calories that's right insane. there for one meal. That's insane. Which is pretty big. It depends on how big you are. If you're like a girl, then that's huge. If you're like a small girl, that's huge. If you're a 6'4 white male, then you could probably eat like five of those. <laughs> you chill. Well, it's crazy how the sauce just raises it that much. Yeah, you right? Know? It's the yeah, sauce. Salt. It's, it's yeah. the sauce. And that's, that's distinct from seasoning. You know, right. Seasoning, salt, pepper, any type of like spice. That's, there's literally no calories in that. I mean, the only thing that you would consider is water retention with the sodium. Seasoning wise, man, sometimes it's making or breaking for a meal plan. You know, if you're just eating bland food all the time, it really just turns you off the food. You want to have like a good relationship with, with what you're eating. Uh, make sure it tastes good. I agree with that wholeheartedly. It's funny I agree with that though, because you see what I eat. Uh -huh. <laughs> I eat chicken, Salmon and chicken with Himalayan <laughs> salt, and that's it. Job done. I, I eat meat out of a box, bro. <laughs> I just box. bake it all in the beginning of the week and I toss it in a box in the fridge. Hey man, if you can do it, yeah. power to you, you know? And then I like don't even season it. Well, I've been seasoning it with this uh, non salted, like organic, like spice mix recently. And then I put sugar free syrup on top of that. I know it sounds weird, <laughs> but like sugar free syrup, unsalted. Spices shit literally tastes like General Tso's chicken <laughs> Literally tastes like sweet and sour chicken, dude. It's dope. There's no extra calories cuz like it's you know It's yeah, it's sugar-free syrup. So there's no extra carbs. It's just lean chicken breast So that you're like a smaller girl You can probably consume like 30 35 grams of protein in one meal fine 30 maybe and then if you're a bigger guy you could probably consume somewhere around 45 to like 50 grams of protein yeah, in one meal. It really just depends on like how you digest food and the, I mean absorption rates, science, I don't know, there's just a bunch of shit, but you never really know for yourself, you know what I mean? No one ever actually like puts themselves through a science project and yeah. you know. And so. There's also something to be said for like practicality in your diet as opposed to just like optimization just for like what's the healthiest possible thing you can do, you know? So a lot of people do intermittent fasting. It has some benefits. But it's not very feasible for someone like us, you know? We're working out, we're working out all the time. It just to fit an entire day's meal in like a three hour window and to train six hours later, I mean, it's not very conducive to our recovery and then also our performance. Um, it's the same for a lot of people too. It's always something to consider what your lifestyle is and how you can match that up like most efficiently to your diet. I'm probably gonna pack this up. I'm not gonna finish it right now. Um, I'll be hungrier later. I know I will. I'm always so hungry before I go to bed. Yeah. I just... Honestly, half the time I just eat all my I eat a lot of my carbs before bed if I want to like shoot the next morning because yeah, it fills me up and I stop drinking water when I go to sleep so then it just I look dry in the morning. Ah, oh, it's sick. <laughs> yeah, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be shooting out some more videos soon. So if you guys have any recommendations or actually if you guys want to see anything in particular, please comment below and let us know exactly what you're interested in seeing. Follow Nathan on Instagram. It's Nathan Brooks one. He needs to change his username. <laughs> let's, let's change it. Gorilla Brooks fit. Gorilla Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to check out our HRT clinic, Transcend, where we get all our medications prescribed and everything, our testosterone prescribed and more, you guys can click the link below. And then also the two companies that I like to support the most, Young LA, the clothing that I wear. You guys can check their website out at youngla.com. Use my code Nile for an extra 50% off. And then EHP Labs is the OxyShred, the PSI, the Isopep protein that I drink, all that stuff, creatine, whatever. That is also ehplabs.com and you can use Nile 10 for the extra 10% off too. So thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it.